show you, not finally, because there are a whole lot of things to do more. I want to teach you how to perform a delete operation. This is not in a playlist. This is a standalone video. In fact, all the videos you see in this playlist, uh, they are standalone videos, but you can actually work on them together because putting them together, you can actually build up this application we are working in. So this is where we are. If I go back to the UI, you see this UI, we built it and we go to friends, we are we come here. So today we are going to be working on delete. We've been able to add new, we've been, we've been able to view the details, we've been able to do edits, and now we are going to be working on delete. When I click on delete, nothing happens. So I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. Again, all the step-by-step -step is here. So subscribe, activate notification, and also if you have challenges, please do let me know. When a user clicks on the delete button on the table, the record is not deleted immediately, but we display a pop-up window to help uh, to tell him to confirm the delete uh, action to be taken. So at this point, in case of this, I'm going to add uh, on this delete button right here, I'm going to add a click event that displays the pop-up. So I'm going to add click, open delete, when you open the lead, we, are, we want to pass in the, the modal, which is I'm going to call it content delete. I've not created it. And I'm going to pass in the friend that was the record that was uh, selected. I'm calling it friend. So now this is the open delete template. So basically you have the same template we have with a different name, but we don't have any form inside. We only have just a model body that asks question, uh, are you sure? You want to delete so i'm going to copy this uh template and place it right there on the web page so i'm going to copy this template i'm going to come down all the way down and i'm going to paste it right here okay <clears throat> so when a user clicks on the delete i hope the font is not too small when a user clicks on the delete we have this content delete is going to open up and the user can will have a button that says yes delete like he come you have to confirm the delete why do we have this error okay that's error i had before so if i save everything now and go back to my form uh <laughs> this is a problem where is this coming from uh the templates um okay um says at the end of expression open the link okay i think i know where it's coming from so it should be i type it somewhere here okay so i need to put closing braces here so i'm going to save everything and now okay this is fine because open delete is not there so let's kind of add a stop, just like a placeholder for the open delete function. So I'm going to just create methods and now I hit this. Um, okay, let me just uh, content delete, friend, friend, let's call this um, template. I hit this, I actually hit this. Okay, so Daisy, we have target model frame frame. So it's going to be target model. All right. And what then happens when this function is executes? We need to assign, when you open the delete button, we need to save the ID of the, of the, of the selected records. So I'm going to say delete ID, delete ID is equal to friend.id. Okay. Now this delete ID, we don't already have it. So I'm going to just create it and it's going to be a number. That's fine. And the nice thing we want to do is open the model, uh, the model pop-up. So I'm going to just say these dot model service that's open and specify the target model and then specify a number of options. Just put a semicolon here and then uh, this backdrop static. 
I actually don't know, but we gotta figure out what it's all about. Size is going to be LG. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to save everything and let's open. Uh, what happens? I hate this. Something coming from nowhere. Um, on on terminal literal LG. Okay, I need this. Okay. So save everything and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to hit on the delete. Wow. Okay, let's get back to our components. Open delete is fine. Um says error is coming from um Open delete. It should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Let me just try to make sure every other thing is working. Okay. Okay, perfect. So you have are you sure? Yes, delete, nothing happens. Okay. Now I just say I want to check something because we have this backdrop static. Uh is there anything like backdrop dynamic? Let's just check. Uh, I don't know. Dynamic is not assignable to type Boolean static. Uh, okay, let's just leave it the way it is. Let's just leave it the way it is. Okay. All right, so the next thing we want to do now is when a user clicks on save, so if you have this uh, delete here, when he clicks on say, uh, yes, delete, you want a function that, that's going to execute to actually delete the records. So this function is going to make a delete request to the URL endpoint for delete. So this is a button right here. So I'm going to simply say click. Oh, no, 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 not this. Uh, click. Uh, the name of the function is going to be on delete. Okay. Uh, on delete. That's all. Um, but let's just check just to make sure because we have the procedure right here. So you have on delete. We we need to then write the on delete function. Um, so this is the on delete function. Let's just write it out so that you kind of uh, start getting used to how functions work in in Angular nine. So I'm going to say on delete. All right. So when you say on delete, uh, we don't need any parameter and delete URL should be um, similar to the edit URL, but in this case it's going to be the delete URL. So it's going to be here. Uh, it's going to be delete URL. Okay, and this dot edit form dot value. Now it's not this dot edit form dot value because we save the delete ID as delete delete ID. So it's going to be it's going to be this dot delete ID. Okay, and it's going to be in this case it's going to be delete. Okay, perfect. And the next thing we are going to do is to simply use the same HTTP client. Uh, this dot HTTP client dot delete. So I think it's very intuitive. I specify the delete URL, and that's all. All right. Now you've written the delete URL, and of course you need to uh, subscribe and uh, results. In the lambda expression here, uh, an anonymous function here. We need uh, okay, so not results. Get this anonymous function here, and you are going to specify when the delete function executes asynchronously. You now say this dot ng on init just to reload the page and then dismiss the model model service dot dismiss all. 
okay that's fine all right so this is what we have here just fix up this and I think we should be good to go at this point so I'm going to save everything and we are going to test the delete function so I'm going to kind of let's try to delete my own record <laughs> let's see that record with id1 yes delete uh it goes so you can see id1 i'm going to delete miller uh by clicking on delete and I, as you can see everything is working so this is how to perform delete operation again you have all the steps here in my website uh you can see a complete application uh which is what I did now is also there in my website. You can find the step by step and also how to build this UI, how to work with Angular routing. There are a whole lot of other things I'm going to be writing about. For instance, how do you do validation? How do you do drop down? Maybe, for instance, in case of selecting a, a country, uh, we might have to be able to select a, a list of countries instead of typing in this country by ourselves here. So these are what I'm going to be writing about. I'd like to thank you for viewing, I'd like to thank you for being there. Please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, to say, to let me know if this has been informative for you. Um, please also like and share my video as well. I remain kind to the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.